Now we'll move from Norway to Poland. Our next speaker is Professor Marek Kristanek. He is head of the Department of Psychiatric Rehabilitation at the Medical University of Silesia. He's also a chairman in the telemedical section of the Polish Psychiatric Association. He talks about video consultations as a core of telemedical system implementing artificial intelligence and integrating community psychiatry and family medicine. Professor Kristanek's presentation is recorded, but he is present and can answer questions afterwards. Hello, my name is Marek Krzysztanek. I'm representing the Medical University of Silesia in Poland, uh, where I'm the head of the Department of Rehabilitation Psychiatry. I'm also a chairman of telemedical section of Polish Psychiatric uh, Association. And uh, I've got an impression um, that uh, developing countries sometimes reach their checkpoints faster than the others. So I hope that my presentation today gives you some glance, you know, where is telepsychiatry uh, in Poland comparing to your countries. Um, I started my interest in telepsychiatry very early. It was in 2001 when with a group of young doctors, uh, we constructed something like a um, web page that was called Medical Guide. And there I was giving the consults to people using emails. That was very early telepsychiatry. But after one year, I was able to uh, gather around 500 consults and I summarized them and I wanted to publish the results in one of Polish journals that is called Polish Psychiatry. It's Psychiatria Polska, it's a journal with impact factor. And uh, initially, this um, publication was rejected by reviewers because they said that the word psychiatry doesn't exist in Polish language. And I explained it to them at that time that they should use this word for the first time in that journal because over the years they would be proud that they were the first and indeed they were the, the first. In the time um, 2013 and 2015, I conducted uh, one of the biggest projects in telepsychiatry in the world. It was uh, founded by uh, from, from funds from European Union and uh, I constructed the, my first telemedical platform for the treatment of people with mental problems. And we conducted the biggest uh, clinical study um, uh, in schizophrenia using telemedical platform. It was uh, 200 people with schizophrenia that, was, that, that were treated with, uh, on, online with, uh, with the using of tele, te televisiting um, uh, over the time of one year, comparing with uh, 100 of people that were the control group uh, uh, that uh, represented the uh, regular treatment in outpatient clinic. Um, you, can, you, you should be aware that, we should be aware all of that uh, it was many years before pandemic and nobody was thinking about uh, telepsychiatry at that time. And my colleagues here in Poland were um, um, full of doubts and they were warning me that um, the, the, I will increase the pathology in those people, that people with schizophrenia uh, would feel being followed or observed or controlled by their, their smartphones and things like that can happen. But nothing in, 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 in none, none of the cases, uh, there was the exacerbation of symptoms. Uh, all the people who were treated um, were using telemedicine and in, in, during this one year um, uh, were finished the study without any medical problems. Uh, in opposite, we proved that um, telemedical treatment in people with schizophrenia can, is equivalent to the to the treatment in uh, regular visiting in outpatient clinic. So the results were very um, precious in for, for a time of pandemic because here in Poland we were able to say to the patients that uh, they can expect that um, um, telemedical treatment, I mean online treatment, is reliable safe and efficient in a treatment of mental disorders, even such uh, problematic and serious like, like uh, schizophrenia. I published those uh, results and um, uh, to our surprise, uh, uh, in many measures uh, in this uh, study group, 
the, the, the results of the study were even better than in, in, in a control group, especially in the, in the domain of affective symptoms. So people with uh, schizophrenia felt much better after one year of, the, of, the, of, the, of being treated uh, um, through this um, tele, 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 tele psychiatry platform. I guess because they were on their uh, own territory, they were visited at their homes, so they felt safer, and the stress uh, related to this to this level of the stress could be <clears throat> milder. And presumably, due to that, they felt they felt they, they their well being were better than in the in the in the control group. The, the um, treatment agents in that study were uh, just the uh, um, support of the uh, drug adherence and uh, um, uh, cognitive trainings that were done through this platform that I constructed. These trainings were very interesting, <laughs> Inter interestingly constructed because they were very short but very intensive. So they, the, the cognitive trainings lasted uh, 7.5 minutes, but so very short. And they were to be done by the patient twice, twice a day on the on the on the on the smartphone, and we proved that uh, over the year, uh, even such a short training uh, done twice and twice twice a week uh, is effective in improvement of cognition of cognition in people with schizophrenia. And we know that it is the primary symptom of schizophrenia, and is uh, very abundant. It is. The cognitive impairment occurs in 80% of people with schizophrenia. So I think that the, that result was also um, important and uh, came from, 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 from telepsychiatry. Uh, Here in Poland, I cooperate as a field expert with the Polish Ministry of Health. And uh, on this slide, I gathered you know, the, the ideas that we use to construct the telemedical system uh, health system in Poland. So the system increases the accessibility uh, of um, medical professionals for, for, for patients, uh, gives the possibility to do the screening diagnosis before visit, first visit uh, first visit in a doctor or another medical professionalist. Um, uh, is, uh, this, the system um, is like telemedical assistant in between the visits. So um, uh, the density of uh, medical um, medical help uh, in between visits is increased and the patient is uh, assisted uh, so the, uh, the, the the therapeutic adherence is uh, monitored and also well-being is monitored and uh, those data uh, is used by the system to construct some notifications and to uh, both to, to the patient and to the mental health professionalist. Um, we'll, uh, the system is also integrated with uh, somatic medicine especially with the general practitioners and uh, contains some original um, solution to uh, data repositories. So it gathers, uh, it, it collects uh, the medical, uh, it is ba based on some original um, uh, idea of the medical record uh, that gathers the um, precious, the, the significant medical um, um, uh, data um, uh, on the level of uh, you know high resolution, and uh, that that data is later on used by so-called uh, artificial in, uh, intelligence, so machine learning, to construct some therapeutic hints for 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 doctors. So as you see, the system is very much sophisticated, and uh, but I but it's it's working. So we we like we like we like that we we, we did that. Um, the telemedical system of health uh, that we constructed in Poland is um, user-friendly, uh, intuitive, uh, and modular. Modular, I mean that it, it's based on modules, and the modules can be um, uh, can be um, removed, uh, reattached, uh, developed. So the system can be tailored to the needs of uh, mental health uh, uh, professionalists. Uh, needs uh, and uh, it can be also developed to the system that is uh, that is uh, um, directed, dedicated for for for, for somatic doctors and um, uh, the idea of the uh, total system um, covering all the branches of medicine 
is also possible and such idea uh, there is there is in my mind and i'm trying to um, inspire with this idea uh, the po po polish doctors and polish mental health uh, ministry um, in february 2021 uh, World Psychiatric Association published um, their um, telepsychiatric global guidelines, and uh, uh, they were very much inspiring. And uh, uh, I draw them; uh, they, they inspired me to adjust them uh, to construct the Polish uh, guidelines, uh, recommendations, uh, how to do the online visits for psychiatric care. And uh, that is uh, that 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 uh, refers to the topic of my presentation because uh, telepsychiatry based on televisiting or on, on video visiting. So these are not the uh, phone calls because uh, such telepsychiatry or telemedicine could be done 100 years ago. So uh, it is modern time, and it is rather should be referred to the cipher to the to the uh, cipher psychiatry. And uh, then to the telepsychiatry because we are using modern technologies. So uh, in Poland, we also uh, construct uh, med medical applications that use uh, virtual reality exposition for treatment of agoraphobia or uh, PTSD. So we are using modern technologies. So uh, now we should, um, base on video conferencing, and video conferencing should be the principle of the visit with. Uh, um, uh, with a with a patient with, with a patient in in each field of medicine, not only in psychiatry, because when we see the patient, we can construct the initiate the uh, therapeutic relation, me, uh, keep the relation with the patient. We can observe uh, the facial facial expression, the uh, body expression. So we collect more, much more, much more data during that. So I think that um, video visiting with, uh, is is a, is a principle of the modern tele, telemedicine and telepsychiatry, and uh, this video visit uh, module uh, is used uh, just for um, when mental health professionalists uh, like um, psychiatrists, like uh, psychologists, psychotherapists, social worker. Uh, uh, nurse uh, visit uh, contact uh, con contacts um, um, a patient, but also uh, when the patient uh, visits uh, the general practitioner, but also in self help groups, they can um, uh, you, they, they are using video conferencing to see each other, to meet it, meet meet each other. The immersion in a, in a contact that the, the person who um, uh, is using the telemedical platform and is uh, doing the video visit uh, uh, occurs in many in a couple of seconds and not, not in no longer than two minutes. The patient has the has the the, the same impression that I, that, I, that everybody has that uh, meets when when meets anybody in reality. So um, that's uh, that 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 is the. A point why we were focused so much here constructing the telemedical system to construct a very well very well module for video conferencing safe separated from from any video communicator that is that is accessible in the in the open market so it is constructed originally and so you can see you know how the patient sees the doctor, but more important is how the doctor sees the patient. And important is that the doctor or a medical professionalist can render this, the screen and can in, enlarge the, 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 the patient, the, the, the picture, uh, just to observe the um, face or um, what's, hap what's happening with hands. So I think it is uh, very, very, very nice. And I followed uh, Recommendations and some hints from my friend who constructed uh, in more than 90% this uh, WPA guidelines, uh, Dawa Mucic. Uh, he was the, the he's the person who con conducted uh, for the first um, for the first time the video visit uh, in psychiatry. So he's the uh, grandfather of um, telepsychiatry in, in in the world. He's a very famous person in, in psychiatry. So I mentioned that I uh, get, we constructed some solution for, for, for data repository. So we are able to construct, to, 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 to collect the 
uh, the data concerning the and, and construct the um, uh, symptomatic profile of the patient that uh, later on uh, is uh, goes through the process of 100% uh, anonymization and is the data the, the medical records are uh, gathered in the in the um, in the um, uh, in, in the field of uh, um, of uh, medical records uh, for process for, for being processed by um, machine learning algorithms and uh, as i mentioned uh, they can be used and they are used to give the um, uh, um, prop some some um, some suggestions some therapeutic suggestions uh, for, for for a doctor which drug to to use of course um, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning is a is a future of in every in the branch of the industry including medicine so we are thinking not to collect only the medical record, but also include in the in the in the analysis uh, the the, uh, the um, psychometric scales, different psychometric scales, whatever we want. We can include everything there, and also patient self assessment here. And um, of course, it's uh, it's a big task. We are starting with that. We are we start we we, we, are, we start gathering this uh, this data, but. I think over a, over over a time uh, over years, this uh, this uh, um, this data uh, will be very very precious, and uh, they can be, uh, for example, the uh, the foundation for 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 construction some um, uh, recommend some some treatment recommendations that are based not 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 on voting by medical professionalists by professors like me but on uh, real data from the real world. Um, this system, very important is in the system, is that uh, we can uh, construct any thera 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 therapeutic plan, and the system helps us, helps the, to realize that, because it sends the notifications, and uh, there is a triage model, so um, uh, if, uh, not, if something happens wrong, uh, the notifications are sent to medical professionals and, all, and of course to the to the patient. So we can react. The system can react and uh, prevent uh, um, uh, um, some some deterioration in mental state in in, in people. Uh, I was mentioning about the screening diagnosis. It's very simple. I wrote the the the. The interview, uh, the um, some standardized interview, and the patient answers uh, yes or not to uh, some standard questions, and according to that, uh, the screening diagnosis is constructed, and um, uh, it is it is giving some 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 direction in thinking of medical professionalist before he sees the patient for the first time when he sees the, the, the this uh, screening diagnosis. And um, um, important is also that um, that we can we collected we are able to collect construct do um, uh, record eighty hours of uh, eighteen hours of uh, of um, medical movies um, uh, so they of course they they, they last uh, for six minutes so there are around one hundred eighty short um, movies that uh, cover all psychiatry and uh, they are attractive and uh, they are on very very, very good level um, cons uh, called, i mean the quality of the, of the of the of the picture so patients can browse and can choose uh, different topics and they can collect uh, important information uh, in attractive uh, form uh, i'm very uh, um, active here concerning tele tele, tele psychiatry uh, I invite. Uh, I'm, let me use this this presentation to invite everyone for international cooperation in grants or scientific studies. Universities uh, uh, open for young scientists to support you in uh, in construction and to independent the PhD uh, programs. Uh, I can help you. Um, for example, Davor Mucic that uh, I mentioned before. Uh, defended his uh, PhD thesis in June, so that's the proof that I'm that I'm that I'm telling the truth. Thank you very much for 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 your interest.